is you might be like that and like that and in this case it's going to go over to here okay now <laughs> remember I said these pathways, these guides, okay, are really just the way I can conceptually explain this to you. This isn't really how Git stores it. The way Git stores it is with these pointers. So when I created this first feature branch, okay, this was actually creating another pointer. All right. So um, just to, so it fits on the page, I'm just going to type it like this, first feature. Okay. So this first feature is pointing up here now. And so first feature has all these commits in it. This is kind of the chain of commits it has, whereas master is sitting over here with the commits over here, all right? So the way to look at a branch, remember I explained it as a context, right? Well, the way that Git deals with it is it's basically a pointer to a commit, okay? So first feature is pointing here, master pointing here. That's the first part of it. The second part of it is an intended pathway, okay? So if I were to make a commit on master now, it, watch, it wouldn't go up here in, on this intended pathway. It would go over here on this intended pathway. Okay, so let's do some more commits to, to show you what I'm talking about. So in the first feature, okay, um, let's say I, uh, am I still on the first feature? Let me check. Yep, still on the first feature branch. Okay, so let's make another commit here. Um, edit this again. Some more edits. Okay, and I'm going to stage it, and I'm going to commit it. Uh, more first feature stuff. Okay, now I've made another commit. Now, because I'm sitting on the first feature branch, okay, it knows I'm sitting on this intended pathway, this pink one here, okay, and I can basically go up, um, I can basically uh, add the commit to there, right? Because I know it's in this intended pathway. And because I made that commit, this first feature moves to that head of there. Okay, so you can see how this is coming together now. Okay, I want to do one more commit. All right, so let's do uh, last first feature commit. Okay, so um, there it is, and I will add it, and I will commit it. So last first feature commit. All right, so now I made another commit. So again, it's going to create another one of these commits. All right. And this moves up to here. All right, I'll draw some lines here to show you that they're actually connected. Okay, so now we're sitting in a situation where um, we have the master branch. Okay, and from this commit, we did a checkout. So we created this new pathway, this new context. All right, and we started making some uh, commits over here. Okay, now let's say we are done with the first feature and we're ready to kind of consolidate these. Okay, we're ready to kind of get rid of the first feature branch and kind of merge this together. In other words, we want all these changes to merge over to here. Okay, now in doing this, I want you to really remember what I'm saying, that these pathways, these kind of intended pathways are invisible. They're, they're not actually part of, they're not like uh, actual physical things in Git, okay? They're just um, a way to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. So when we do the merge, okay, from the first feature branch onto the master branch, right? We basically want all these changes to be applied on top of this guy, right? Because the master branch is sitting way down here at commit number three, and first feature is sitting on four, five, and six commits, right? So I want the master to be caught up to here, so I'm gonna merge the first feature over to the master branch, okay? So let's see what happens when I do that. Okay, so the way to do a merge, remember, is you have to check out to the branch that you actually want to change, you want to affect, okay? And then I'm going to do a git merge, and then I'm going to merge the first feature. Okay. If you have git autocomplete, you can just type, type tab to, to search that. Okay. So git merge first feature, and I'm going to hit enter. Now see what happens. It says fast forward. Now what does that mean? And this is the whole point of the video. 
what fast forward means, okay, is that when you did a checkout to another branch, the branch that you're merging into master, okay, or whatever branches that you're merging into, since you've done that checkout and you've done a bunch of commits on that branch, so since we did the checkout of first feature and we did a bunch of commands on this branch, okay, what it's saying is that you have not touched the master branch since that's happened. Okay, you have not done any work on the master branch since you've checked out the first feature and done that. So in that case, it's very easy to just add these commits and first feature on top of the master branch. Okay, now again, this is conceptual. Okay, I'm saying invisibly, uh, conceptually, you're just adding these commits on top of this branch. Okay, but you see how all these are connected, right? They're already connected. So the way that Git handles this is it doesn't actually need to you know, put these commits and like play them on top of these ones or anything like that. Um, because remember, Git only deals with these pointers and all that Git has to do to do this merge, all right, is all it has to do is take this master pointer and move it forward to four, five, and six. So now master and first feature are sitting at the same place. Okay, so again, what fast forward means Okay, it's a very specific condition that says, since you checked out from this branch, okay, into first feature, you have not made any changes to the master branch, okay, since first feature happened, okay? And now that you're merging it back, I don't have to do any fancy merging, uh, you know, and figure out what to keep and what not to keep. I can just move that pointer and fast forward it up to the top here, okay? And effectively, what happens in that case is master and first feature are basically the same branch. Okay, so what effectively is happening, all right, is that this is just one pathway, okay? You can ignore these, uh, these lines for now, but... So effectively, what's happening I'm really not doing anything, I'm just rearranging the way it looks on screen here, is that these have now become the same branch. Okay, that's what happens when you merged it. Okay, so what I want to do is, again, just emphasize that these guides are really just a theoretical pathway. That's what a branch really is. A branch is a pointer plus a intended pathway for your future commits. And if Again, there are no commits that happen here, then you can just simply fast forward and go on forward there. Okay? Now, what I want to explain in this video as well is what would have happened if, okay, if I didn't actually do that, if I wasn't in that condition to allow for fast forwards. In other words, what if I touched the master branch? Okay? So, just really quickly here, I'm going to get rid of my feature one branch. Okay, because again, this is all the same now. Uh, sorry. Okay, so this is effectively all the same branch now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete my first feature branch because I don't really need it anymore.